Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. For this video, I'm going to open up another dollar bead box and bag. And in case you're new to this, the dollar bead box and bag are monthly bead subscriptions that you can subscribe to online. And they also offer sometimes some other, like, deals and stuff. And they also have an online store, which I have gone and bought from the online store. And it is awesome because you can buy everything for a dollar. But in order to do that, you have to be a member. So I recommend that you go to their website. I will leave a link for the website down there in the description bar below this video. So you can go check them out and um, read all the information about their monthly subscriptions. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I made a playlist for you guys because every time I get a box I make a tutorial or two depending on what I can come up with and if I have enough time to do it. And um, I have the dollar bead box playlist and in the playlist I have where I've opened up the boxes and I also have the videos there that I've made, the tutorials, with the stuff that I get in the box. So for this video let's open up the box and see what's inside. Okay, I'll do the bag first. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so last month, I swear that I had, let's see, I wonder if it's different. Navy Nebulous Luster. So last month I made a wrap bracelet. It's a really long wrap bracelet. It is awesome and I used seven bead strands from the dollar bead bag and box and it turned out amazing. I had a penny button that I made and it was just so cool. But anyways, this color here is the same color that was in last month's box but this is a smaller size. Last month it was four millimeter. This month it's three millimeter and I love this. It is called Navy Nebulous Luster and it's the three millimeter. Last month they had the four and this is just a beautiful strand. It's gorgeous. It's a dark blue and it has the like gold going through it. Or it's like a goldish bronze. It's beautiful. And then the next one is matte copper. That's a three millimeter. So this is four, four, these are three. Okay, so that's probably this one here. This is pretty, and last month I kind of got a copper color too, but I want to say it's darker than this. It was a four millimeter. That's really neat. Beautiful. Okay, and then I'm looking for Crystal Mardi Gras. So that's this one here. And last month they had the four millimeter in the same color. And this month they have the three. Th these are beautiful. I wanted to use those. But um, I decided to uh, hold off on using them because I felt like they didn't go with the other stuff in the box. But those are gorgeous. And I'm happy that I have the three millimeter and the four. That's really nice to have that. The same color in two different sizes. This one is matte copper brass mix. It's gorgeous. It, to me, it's like a antique gold. And I'll show you the difference here. This one's the copper, and that's the um, matte copper brass mix. Those are gorgeous. Okay, so that's the three millimeter. And for the four, we have royal purple metallic. And then there is satin taupe, crystal electric yellow green, and matte copper brass. So this one I'm thinking is the royal purple metallic, which is awesome. Um, I've actually known this color to be called magic blue. I bought it before in round duos and super duos. And I, I just love it. Also, I have cut buttons in this. It is gorgeous. 
it's just it's it's crystal and they have it's a clear bead and they put this finish on it and it has all these different colors you'll see purple blue green like a pink in some spots I just saw a flash of red it's really amazing love that and the next one is satin taupe which is this one here and I think that this is the same color they sent last month but in the smaller size so I like that they're doing that it's really nice to have the same color in two different sizes it's beautiful and the next one let's see I did those two is the crystal electric yellow green wow this one is really unusual I like it that's cool that's a really neat I love that too and these two here look great together love that the next one is matte copper brass mix which this is the same as this one <gasps> Oh yes, that is awesome. I love that. They're so pretty and I love how the colors work together. Let me see, what is this one like? It's really nice. I love all of them. I'm never disappointed with a dollar bead bag. Okay, I'm going to put this aside and go to the, um, and by the way, did I mention that this is November 2017 bead box and bag? I don't think I did. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love those. I've only seen really seed beads like that. That's so cool. Okay, let's see. First, I'm going to start with the strands because that's what's at the top of the list. And I'm going to look for a three millimeter Check glass rondelle light aqua 100 quantity. Oh my gosh, I love check rondelles. Where are they? These? Oh my gosh, those are so tiny. I've never seen these before. I thought it would be like a faceted rondelle. They're almost like um, seed beads, like the demi. I've wanted to try those demi seed beads. I wonder if they're like similar to those, but look how tiny they are. They're kind of like seed beads. Those are so cool. I've never had those before. I'm going to play with those. Okay, let's see what else we have. 5mm Check Fire Polish Light Sapphire Pink Lined. Light Sapphire Pink Lined. That must be this here. These are really cool. I love these. I've seen seed beads like this, but not really check fire polish beads. They're pretty darn neat. I wonder what they're like with that on um, this. Those could be used together. Why not? Okay. So after that, I'm looking for 6mm Czech Fire Polish Vintage Hematite. This is Hematite here. Oh my gosh, no way. These have like a Picasso vintage, uh, finish on them, not vintage on them. They're called Vintage Hematite, so that is so cool. I am really obsessed with the Picasso beads and I've been trying to collect um, Picasso beads in 6-0s and they're so hard to find. They're like selling out everywhere and I just can't get the colors. I'm looking for uh, the turquoise, there's a sea foam one, there's a chartreuse one, what else? There's this one that's called beige and I just can't get a hold of it. It's driving me crazy. But these are awesome. It's like 
the hematite right there you can really see the Picasso on that these are so cool I have not seen the Picasso finish on the Czech fire polish bead like this with the hematite that is really neat those are so cool okay oh and you know what they might work with some of these okay next thing is six millimeter check glass roller bead jet or crystal crystal meaning clear and it's a strand so it's probably this one these are cool they have large holes they're kinda like um Matubo, Matubo seed beads. They're big. So they can go on one millimeter leather cord and in between there is clear check fire polish beads as the spacers. Those are pretty neat. I like these. Those are like big seed beads. The next thing I'm looking for is I got the roller bead. 3 by 5 millimeter check glass rondelle pastel pink 25. Oh my god. <gasps> I love these. My my viewfinder, they look uh white, but it's a pale pink. These are so pretty. I love those so much. I hope they look pink on the camera, because to me they look white. Those are so cute love those the next strand is 7 by 11 millimeter check glass oval medium blue 17 quantity which is these here these are nice I haven't got to work with this shape very much so this will be interesting and I really like how this green looks with them these are really pretty together Okay, the next thing is, we're done with the strands, I'm going on to 3 inch cotton tassel, assorted colors 6, which are these here, ooh, I like the colors, really nice colors, and I like that they gave me so many to work with, that's nice, a lot of options to choose from, very pretty. Okay, let's see what else we have. A 32 inch silk cord, evergreen, which is this here. And I love this. I bought a whole bunch of these. I got one, I think I got the pink and an orange, and I went online and I saw that they had a purple one. And so I bought that one, and it looks like they're getting more colors, and I love these cords. Ooh, I wonder if the roller bead would go on this. It might. Hmm, I'll have to see. That would be cool. I love that. Okay, and now I'm looking for 6-0 check glass seed beads. Silver line, and I can't even say that word. And a 14 by 40 millimeter tube. Wait, this one. So this is the first time I've seen the seed beads in their, um boxes. I don't know if they've done it in the past before I ever got them, but this is the first time I've ever seen them. So that's really neat to have seed beads. I love seed beads. I can't get enough seed beads. And after that, I just lost my place. A 3 millimeter check glass spacer bead. White vintage with crystal accents. So that's here. And they're calling them spacer beads, but to me they just look like uh, 80 seed beads. And I have very little um, white seed beads that are uniform, and these look really good. So I'm happy to have these. That's nice. Okay. Now I'm looking for 0 0.7 by 23 millimeter flathead pins, anti copper over brass, 100 right here. Ooh, I'm happy to have these. I'm going to try to use these for this project. They're very short. Very pretty. I love the uh, 
antique copper and brass colors. And the next thing I'm looking for is 28 millimeter pewter flower pendant, antique silver plated, which is this here. And I love flowers, as you know if you've watched my videos, I'm always making flowers. That is gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. I love that pendant. Okay, let's see what else. Now I'm looking for 4mm pewter cube antique silver plated. There is a 12. These here. This is nice to have. I don't have any square silver beads, so that's pretty cool. And they have nice size holes. It's like a 1mm hole. Maybe a little bit bigger, maybe 1.5. That's nice. And now I'm looking for 32 millimeter pewter key antique brass plated. So that's these here. And I love keys. I think I got two keys before in a box, and they're really nice. These are awesome, and you know what? They have a little hole there, so if you want, you can put a little crystal in them. And you know what I do? I'll um, look for jewelry when I go to thrift stores and yard sales and stuff, and I'll find things that have, like, crystals and rhinestones in them, and some things have the stones falling out. And I'll just get them anyways, because it's dirt cheap. And I will save them, and I'll pop the stones out, and I'll glue them into other things. So, for example... I think I have a pendant over there in my jewelry box that has some Swarovski crystal um, stones falling out, and I think that they would fit into those little ho holes. You can also put seed beads in those holes. It's whatever you want to do, really. So these are really nice. They would be cute earrings. I like those a lot. Okay. After that. I'm looking for, I just did the key, um, Thai Hill Tribe 28mm style pewter butterfly, antique silver plated. So that's here, is this a bead? Oh my gosh. It's a bead, it's a huge bead. Look at that, the hole goes right through the middle. That is so cool. I really like that. Okay. Next thing is the 14 millimeter check glass table cut opaque green with travertine. So that's this bead here. I just bought for my birthday a strand of these from Hobby Lobby. They were on clearance. They were red though. Dark red. This is really pretty. I like this. You know what? You can make a wire ring with this. I have a tutorial where I make wire rings with beads, and this would be a perfect ring. It would. With wire. Because of its shape. It's very pretty. I like that. Okay. The next thing is 4 by 6 millimeter Preciosa Spacer Bead Crystal 6 Quantity. These are really unusual. I have some of these. A long time ago I made a ring with the plastic version of these beads. It turned out really neat. But basically, it's a squished bicone. That's how I would describe it. They're pretty cool. like them. I think I got a bag from them one time that were even tinier than this. They were really little. Okay, so this is what I have to play with. And I think I'm going to try to use the head pins. And I do want to use this cord. I love that cord a lot. There's some really neat stuff in here. 
I love the variety that they send. It makes me think outside the box, outside the dollar bead box. There's the tassels, there's more beads. I love these so much. Chuck rondelles are amazing quality. And they're not cheap. Some neat stuff here. So I have this to play with and I have the stuff in the dollar bead bag. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to play with this and see what I can come up with. And by the way, I am working on something for Christmas. It's kind of a thing that could be worn maybe as a pendant. I don't know. I had to b order beads. I'm waiting for them to come in that are smaller so I could see if it would work as a pendant. Maybe earrings. Not sure. But um, I made a bigger version of it and it's kind of like a Christmas ornament. But I think if I did do smaller beads I could have it as a piece of jewelry and it's going to be so awesome and oh my gosh guys it is a lot of work to this project that I'm working on. Very time consuming. It's going to take me forever to film it. But it is so awesome and I think you guys are going to love it. So um, anyways, I'll be working on that and working on this. This is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and like me on Facebook. And don't forget to share pictures of the jewelry made from my videos on my Facebook page and follow me on Pinterest. Thanks for watching.